Altavia 1 is an 80 mile high level route which runs through the eastern Dolomites in Italy. Altavia simply means the high route and this high route passes through some of the finest scenery the Dolomites has to offer. Join me as I take on this challenging and breathtaking hike through huge forests and other intimidating mountain passes, surrendering to nature, its raw beauty and the lessons it gives along the way. Welcome to the high route and welcome to the Dolomites. A truly majestic campsite, one of the best ever. Unbelievable that it's just a, just the perfect size for my tent. There's nowhere else. I was looking all the way down this mountain. It's all just like this steep, overgrown. I came in here, started looking around, and I just bosh. It's unbelievable, mate. And here we are. Day is it? Day four on the Alta Via One in the Dolomites in Italy. We'll pack the wigwam up and we're heading through these trees to a wonderful balcony path, a traverse around the mountains. Look at this, mate. Big bag of food that I'm carrying around with me for nothing. That'll, that'll roll over onto the next trip, won't it? Goodbye. And thank you. <laughs> so I'll make my way through this. Not even a path, mate. And let's join the path. We've joined the path and it's taking us over over these rocks, this dry riverbed. There we go. And it's gonna take us. We're going into the woods. Oh, takes a the first few steps, you're like, wow. I've been climbing mountains all day yesterday. Oh, Cause legs are a little bit, they feel like they've been climbing mountains, mate. I've done my stretches, my routines, packed everything away. Look at this, mate. A different type of woodland. It's difficult for me not to put in the shift, mate. And I can't, I can't help it. Once I'm off on a hike, I'm like, this is, I want to do it. Uh, not in a bravado way or anything, just in, like, what else am I doing? I'm here to do this hike. If I can do it in, oh, look at this. This would have had me sorted, wouldn't it? I had a camp to you. I had a camp to you. This is only five or ten minutes away from my spot. Not as good, but flat. Bang on path though, I'd have took it, I'd have took it. Another problem I've got now is that I'm wild camping, I'm not staying in anywhere. And so my electrics are going. My power bank ran out yesterday. My phone's on 70%. This thing's running out. And I need, well what I need is my phone because I'm using my, uh, my map on there as well as the guidebook. It's essential really. So I need my phone for my maps and also for uh, when I get to the finish line for like bus times and finding out all that sort of logistics and stuff. But I put you in marsupial pouch while we do this, look at it. Every day, relentless scenes. Oh, there's my path, <laughs> cutting through here. Spectacular. So this is the third <coughs> dry riverbed crossing. I believe it's that way up. <sighs> Which would be difficult to know where to go, but there's an ever so faint triangle over there. That's me. That's my path. All right, massive mountains. Feel a bit of water in the air. I think it's threatening to rain. This would have been quite hard to navigate, but not for this tiny little cairn. 
leads me over here and I'm like, oh yeah. Well done, Ken. This should slow me down. I've got to navigate over all these big rocks. And then I was looking at him thinking, no, please, no. That can't be the way it is. It is. It goes along here and up. I think there's like via ferrata, so metal cables you've got to hold on to. But that's well steep, mate. Better have some electrolytes before I take that on. Mind over matter though, innit? We're in for this. Let's make our way over this boulder section and get to the start of that bit there and then we'll have a little bit of a, probably a meltdown. Yeah. Fair enough, you don't want to be stacking it down there. Look at that, I can't go along here. Also, woof, mate. It started raining as well. So that's another thing. Oh, I just got to be. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, mate. I've got a real problem here with heights. Uh, <laughs> the call of the void. Shh. Don't talk about it. Don't talk. <laughs> you just don't look. Oh, he looked. He said, "Don't look, idiot." He looked. Just now. Right. Okay. Why is it like I'm over this stuff like an absolute mountain goat usually, but because I know that that, but because I know there's a big drop, I fucking make my my legs start going all shit. I start second guessing my foot placements. Like, oh. It's okay, I know you're thinking, well, why did you put the camera away, dickhead? <coughs> I'll tell you why, mate. I can still use my hands. I've got you like, sort of through, like, through my thumb bit. And it's helping me a bit. <laughs> Been able to chat to you, all right. Making, oh, making it less, less mad. It isn't that mad, is it? Come on. It's on the legs as well, isn't it? Steep, almost vertical. Oh, whoa, it's all right. Uh, fell upwards. This isn't even. Oh, this isn't even relatively that bad. What am I going to be like on the knife edge? No, I've made it. I medicked. Look at that turn. I came up here thinking that that was my way. I looked off edge and it's a sheer drop off the edge of their turn. Uh, I've made a mountain out of a molehill there, I'll be honest with you. Webs, mate. I've not had anything to eat and I've been. I've been at it. Well, I've been at it an hour and a half of hard hiking. And uh, I've got no food. I've got had out to eat. That's me. That's this hike. <laughs> And I can see it, the path again. It's the same thing. All these huge rocks worm my way, and then there is a path sort of going across again. And it is raining, so I need to keep my wits about me. Uh, I have some electrolytes now because otherwise I could be bonking, couldn't I? Not in a good way. Got these cables here, a bit of via ferrata because it doesn't look like it, but this little tree line hides a sheer drop. So there's this cable that you can hold on to just for reassurance. It's different gravy. This section's pretty remote and tough going. Lots of places you could, uh, if you put your foot wrong, it's, it'd be a bad day in office. And for anyone wondering, I do have a InReach Mini GPS safety device in my hip belt. 
So if I do fall off one of these things, whoever finds me can keep it. Making my way around here. And then we're going up over this pass. And then hopefully the views will open up and we'll see what we're working with. Right, it's not that one. We're off up here. Cause I'm getting low on battery on my uh, on my phone, so my maps, I'm not looking at them as much. <laughs> so the chance of making, uh, making a wrong turn are greatly improved by not checking it. Sorry, I, can't, I keep trying to, trying to chat, but it's too much. <laughs> it's too exhausting. I'll see you at the top. This mate, middle of nowhere. Got trinkets in there. I don't have any trinkets, I'll probably have forgotten. But we're gonna make our way across here. And there's a little hut on the end of there. That's where I'm aiming to get to. Hallelujah. Sing it, sing hallelujah. It's been raining, so this mud is well slippy. I haven't updated you for a while, because I stopped at that uh, refugio, uh, got a coffee and a bit of cake, Whoa. and then got talking to a lad, Andy, like mate, who's doing it as well. And we set off from there, and we did a few K together. And he's a lovely lad from Birmingham. Uh, we did a few K together, so I wasn't filming, but uh, you could tell that I was like, <laughs> you know. Well, when we started doing these elevations, he said, just go ahead, mate, because you're going to burn me out. So I've left Andy back there, but I said I might meet him at the, uh, the next refugio for a, for a natter. So we're doing the same trek. Also, he tells me he'd not booked any of the refugios and he's got in every single one. He's not, he brought all his stuff. He's not wild camped once. Off the blogs I've read, he says you need to book six months in advance. So I've not even been asking. And he stayed in one every night. So the other night when I was like, yeah, last night, I looked in, everyone was eating. I was like, I've got to go sleep in return. I could have just said, can I have a bed? And I would have said, yeah, that's 60 euros for dinner, bed and breakfast, mate. I was gonna try and do it today, so concrete in four days, which would have been a beast. But now what I'm thinking is, get to this refugio and stop, if they've got a room, and just appreciate the food, talk to the people, have a bit of a night of it, and then uh, tackle the last section tomorrow. That would be a cool place to camp. Is this my way? Look at that. Someone's bedded it out with grass. Perfect little camp nest. Tough going. <coughs> oh, up all these exposed roots. They do make good steps, but very slippy because it's raining. What's this? Oh, no, look at this. There we are. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Again, not much documenting on here because I hiked a bit with my mate and now he's pissing it down. Not even putting jacket on, but it's over these big rocks, a lot of climbing to do, a lot of elevation, ups and downs. Proper wild out here. Look at that. And that's what I'm heading into. I love it, I've got the Right now, I'm just gunning it, feeling strong, and just feeling like in nature. The elements are there, it's rains hitting me and cooling me down. The views are spectacular. There's no other people about. This is what it's all about. Another glorious day, it's so different to the other days, because we are just traversing this mountain up and down, along the side of it, in woodlands and then you'll just come out like here and just the views are majestic but then you've got to 
navigate over these slippy rocks. Some of them you need to climb over, like over there in big ones. So again, I say it's, it's a tough one to document. Uh, it's not like the the Whitby Way where I can just ramble in other tracks and I can just chat to you. It's taking everything out of me, just getting through the trek. But I'm doing my best to update when I can. You can see the faint path in the side of the mountain. That's me, all that way. Tough section this, tough and beautiful as is life. But it's so red if you fell down there. I don't mind the rain, I put me in rain jacket on. Way too hot. The rain is just bringing that nice cooling element and natural hippie shit to the proceedings. Just dealing with this rocky tundra. And then there'll be multiple signs and it's these little cairns are saving me but then there'll be multiple signs and i'm trying not to use my old trails map because my phone battery's dying on its ass as for doing it in four days no we'll get to this refugio so it'll be quite an early finish for me i think a proper one like at tea time a normal finish and if they don't have any rooms or anything i'm going to stay there and just have something to eat and just rest up for a bit and then camp somewhere near it we've come all the way along there stunning scenes tony beautiful this man what a forest keep seeing mushrooms everywhere as well i bet Another month, be riddled in them. Oh, I keep get a good chat on, and then it's like, nah, mate, <laughs> lung buster for you. See ya. Look at this, middle of nowhere, a free little mountain. Up. Looks like he's got a fire going. He's got a bunk barn behind it, just so you can dry out and shit. People in there, water. Hello. Hello. Oh. Water, I assume it's drinkable. Let's stop here for a minute, mate. Get some water. A little fire pit and everything, mate. It's nice, isn't it? I'll have a little look in, say hello. But water, so I'm going to neck a load of water. Fill a load of water up. I've got a few little stones in my shoes that were starting to grate a little bit. Get them out. Oh, <laughs> and then we'll bat all day. Got the music on and everything, mate. <laughs> Beers on go. What is this then? Is this just like a free. It's just got a little like, hat. Yeah, bunker, but you can gets. count. I mean, it's got a. Stove in oven and stuff. And then there's this old spring. Oh, mattresses. yeah. That's luxury. There's three mate. of them. Yeah. And it's got a new roof, so pro probably yeah. it won't it's leak. Dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's dry. That's the that main thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful yeah. stuff. That was lovely. Just a load of people in there. There's a fire going. There's hot drinks going. Just like real community vibe. Good chat. And I was like, yeah, nice one. I'm bouncing. <laughs> Not like that though, but I'm bouncing. See you later. It started coming down real heavy now, and it's set to be like this. For the rest of the day temperatures really dropped so let's get this new waterproof jacket on that's rain setting for day now just heading for this next refuge here hoping they've got a bed in one at dorms that would be an unexpected treat after three nights of wild camping, it would be nice, maybe get a shower and a decent feed, all in preparation for the knife edge <laughs> and the final day tomorrow. Down, mate. 
Part of it all your own way though. Look at that. Look at the mist in the valley. There's mist. <laughs> oh, wait up. Look at that. You don't want to be falling. Oh. Real talk, innit? Real talk. I don't even think I've done a walk back, have I, today? It's been a tough one. It's been a tough one. It's just the terrain has demanded all of my attention. So, filming has been a secondary. Yeah, let's just do one of these. Let's just do this, look. Ah, fast it middle of the path, look. <laughs> Oh, look, this is what it's come to look. Yeah. There you go, look. <laughs> yeah? Filmmaker at Year Award, that 2012 or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you deserve better than this, I'm sorry. It's only small, I'm not going to get in here, am I? No chance. I'm going to have to bat on. It doesn't even look open. I mean, it's pretty stunning though. Look at that. Unbelievable Jeffrey. Amazing. Look at that. It's the end of the world, Dad. The palm of my hand When it all goes to hell Will you still be my friend? Good morning On what I'm hoping is If I can get it done The final day Of the Altavia 1 There's a tent up here, look, yeah Bivy Or Summit Someone who obviously couldn't get into it Refugio. I met a guy called Andy yesterday, as I said. He told me that these refugios sometimes just keep rooms for people who were just passing through and I had no idea. So I asked when I got there and I got the last room. And it was like 70 euros for dinner, bed and breakfast. I've, I didn't do breakfast because I've got used to not eating breakfast so I didn't fancy it and I wanted to get off early, it's half six in the morning because it's the knife edge ridge today which I've been nervous about and uh, so everybody sits together has their dinner together, it's a good atmosphere there's little bunk rooms, we think there was like six people in our bunk room everyone was drinking and all, I didn't, I didn't have a drop mate because me and Heights aren't the best of friends and me and Heights with a hangover just start happening <laughs> not a chance mate so I've done the best thing and just kept a level head up early, hydrated take on this knife edge ridge Ew. it's one of the, uh, the wildest days today as we get up into the northern Dolomites so I'm looking forward to that remote wilderness and some beautiful landscapes. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I don't fancy doing the knife edge in the rain. But it is what it is. Let's crack on, we might get a sunrise. Oh no, is that it? Oh, for anyone who knows me, they'll know how mad this is. I've got, uh, what is it? Scared of heights, I've got that. What is it, what do you call it? Being a salad onion. I've got that. The call of the void. I can't shut my brain up and it says, oh, it just, it goes through the worst case scenarios. It's like, even just stood on here, I'm like, oh, if I fell there, it would just be absolutely madness, wouldn't it? The chaos of it all. And then my brain's like, go on, get it, get it, dude. Whoa. Uh, so if I'm on a knife edge ridge, which is basically like this, that falls off either side, how do you play it? 
Like, like that, okay. Do it for England. Do it for Yorkshire. I can't come out here and absolutely annihilate this hike. There's people in the Refugio who couldn't believe that I got there in four days. And I stopped early. I could have finished it yesterday, done the whole thing in four days. Like an absolute mountain goat. But then, well, I was telling them, but yeah, that's all good. But you see me when I get up here and I shat it. <laughs> the mountain goat. Not anymore. What are you? Just a shaking dog, like a shaking puppy. Oh, I'll tell you who's got the right idea, them marmots just staying down there, underground even, so far down, underground, that's best place, isn't it? The more I talk, the more it's becoming enveloped in mist, which in a way would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Because the mist, I wouldn't be able to see how far down it is. That's it, look. Down, Dad. Oh, here I am on this knife edge ridge. Keep it. And I've got to get up there, mate. I can't film it. I can't film it. <laughs> Neo, mate. Don't, you can't run away from your fears. Face them. Hold you like that. I still use both hands. I ain't come all this way to bottle it now. Just be confident, mate. I'm a boulderer. I can boulder. Yes, sir. I can boulder. Oh, my God. I'm not even talking, mate, because bottling it. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Is that it? Have I done it? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. I am boogie. <laughs> oh, that was scary, man. Is that more to go? Please be that's it. Please let that just be it. Oh, get your adrenaline rush. <sighs> no, <laughs> come on. That was good. That was highlight, that was good. <laughs> Please, there's more. There's more. Let's read the guidebook. Where is it taking me? Please. Just just take me somewhere that's just flat and like off this ridge, mate. Now, I've done it, Anna. I haven't done it, apparently. Oh man, God, we're so high up now. It's crazy. Oh my God. Oh, do 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 do. Come on, be having you. Life can't beat you up more than you fucking beat yourself up. Come on, if life's hard, be harder. That's how we're doing it. Face your fears. Otherwise you'll be running from them all the time, all your life. Not really, I've only just climbed a little thing, but for me that was big. Still, it's still quite steep, but that's it. I've done it. And I'll be honest, ever since reading guidebook, that back there has been in my mind and it's been getting stronger and stronger. And yesterday it was there, stronger and stronger. And I'm glad I didn't do it yesterday when it was raining. Just another added element. 
I'm glad I didn't drink last night or at any time on this trip. I'm glad I just stayed focused and I, I know there'll be like hype guys out there who do all this sort of shit all the time. And people who have, the flowers are beautiful up here. How do you survive? It's unbelievable, Jeffrey. Yeah, I know there'll be people who are like, that's nothing, mate. My grand did that, and she probably did. Uh, <laughs> but it's different for me, mate. Well, it's not different for me, but I've got vertigo. Or oh, call of the void, call it what you want. When I do stuff like that, it means a lot to me because I aren't letting it win. And I'm conquering it, and it's only a little thing in the grand scheme of things. But all these little things add up. And at the moment, they're what I'm collecting. Just summer, even if it's this, just feeling like this for now, like feeling pretty invincible. Still on top of the world. <sighs> Early in the morning, in the Dolomite. Even if it's just this feeling, ah, it's worth it. Here we, are. Whoa. Here we are on the pass. Look at the views out to both sides, mate. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's not over yet though. There are still some steep bits with some uh, iron cable that you can hold on to like Via Ferrata style, but bring it on, bring it on now. Wow. Welcome to the Northern Dolomites. More rugged and wild in the north. There's just jaw dropping beauty everywhere I look. Some marmots or gophers or monkeys, I don't know what they were, wombles chilling on a rock. The flowers I've been impressed with, so many wild alpines all out in flower now. Truly, truly magical. Day five. It's tough, like, up and downs and takes our legs, but I feel strong. I still feel strong. Soaking it all up, mate, because this is the last day. So... <laughs> it's not every day you get views like this. So they've got the cables that you can hold onto if you want. Nah. I do knife ridges, mate. I don't need cables down here. Not even bothered. <laughs> Have I just conquered something? Have I just conquered my fear of heights? I think I might... I might not have conquered it, but I tell you something, there's something... Something has shifted. Something has shifted. Something has quietened. I lost the call of the void, is it gone? I can't, it's too early to say, but that is madness. If that's what it is, that's like a unreal, Jeff. Just stand on edge of here, look. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, swallow. Hey mate. Oh that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. You probably can't on here. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, what a trip this is, mate. What a trip. I'm heading down here. Look how stunning it is. I don't know. I mean, we're so high up in the mountains now that even if you climb down like a thousand feet, you're still going to be in the mountains. So for me to say there's going to be no more mountainous bits is ridiculous. What a day, and most people aren't even out of bed yet. Wait. Oh. 
does it happen like that? Honestly, if anyone's a mind doctor out there or anything like that, is that how it happens? Like, you just do it. You do something like that and then uh, just quiet and just like quiet. It's just peaceful. Like, it's just at peace with it. I can stand on the edge of something for the first time since I've been alive. And it's not, I don't have something telling me to fucking jump off. It's gone. It's not like I've had loads of hypnotherapy and like, whatever. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's just mad, it's just mad. I'm, it's, I'm overwhelmed and maybe a little bit malnourished. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. I can't even make that. I'll have to pick bones out of that for the rest of this trip because that's madness. It silenced my. It silenced the call of the void. Has it silenced my fear of heights? Do you just. Can you just. Can you just, like, do it like that? Is that how it happens? What happens, what happens if I was. Help me! How's it going? Yeah, treacherous, mate. Yeah, it's my worst nightmare, man. Mud. It's slippy, that bit. It stops down here, though. It's not so bad. Good, good, good. I'll meet you down there for a water. Nah, man, see you All right, mate. <laughs> That's Andy, who I met the other day, look. Hearing me crying about... <laughs> oh, just listening to me crying about heights and that. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. But I've got to, I've got to be real with you. You can, you can probably still hear me, but I don't, I don't care. It's realistic, isn't it, mate? Yeah. So if I, so if I was scared of clowns, right? If some people are, my daughter's scared of clowns. If, if I was scared of clowns, and then I just went and like, I don't know, just like hung out with a bunch of clowns in woods for all night. Is that just gonna? Am I just gonna then lose that fear of clowns? how it works. I just cured my fear of heights. I didn't think about it till it got to that fear for out a bit and I didn't hold the rails. I was like, no, I don't need it. And I'm looking down, I'm like, well high. It's like, why do I need it? I don't feel like I need it. I feel calm. And then I stopped and I was like, is that? I stopped and stood and looked off the edge and I'm like, I c I'm not even thinking about what it would be like to jump off there or there's no voice going, go on, get off. There's nothing. There was for the first time. There was absolutely nothing. Just like nothing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Tony. <laughs> Unbelievable, Tony. I'm an al guys. Guys, I'm an alpinist. Also, Tony, I realise I do. I do shed a few tears a lot. But <laughs> let me tell you this, lads. Uh, it's all right. Even if you t I like. <sighs> I'm not, I don't shed them if I'm like scared or sad or whatever. That ain't my, that's not my, how I go. It's, uh, I often just get overwhelmed a lot of with beauty. If things are beautiful or, oh, they're meaningful, then I'm, I'm gone. I don't, and I'm not, I don't care to admit, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. If things are just romantic or beautiful or, passionate or I don't know stuff like that I can't hold it in I'm away blubbing and I shall not apologize for it except lads seriously if it's for you beefy boys don't judge me please I can't help it <laughs> I'm still one of you beefy boys I, I just don't knife edge ridge for god's sake look at me running down here people in the muts have seen thinking I was like a mountain goat mate all best mountain goats cry anyway, so that's that. Just <laughs> FYI, if you yourself are a, a, a man, don't worry about it, mate. If you shed a few, shed a few salters out the old ducts, don't worry about it because it just proves that you're human. That's all it is. What you're gonna do, just like you know, you find something like overwhelmingly beautiful, like. Your daughter might bring you a flower or something, so you're gonna what? Bite your lip and just put, like punch yourself in the knee because you don't want to show any emotion. Come on, get it all out. Am I going the wrong way? Because I'm talking about malin. Right, come on, 
fill some water up here mate because another thing is also all this you, you can't do me for all this because i've got a mixture of like i've not eaten so i'm i'm malnourished i'm tired uh i'm dehydrated as well i haven't filled my water up for a while uh and there's all that so anything that sort of happens you can't do me for it for the first half of the day Ooh. Raspberries, alpine raspberries. No, oh man, so sweet. And there's a few of them. It's so humid. Going through a. It's basically there's the refugio on the other side. Gone all the way down. Back up this other side. It's pretty much a straight, straight up, mate here drops over edge and just the views out are spectacular oh my word but we're still going oh we're up over the ridge look at that that ridge all down there is where i came over that's knife edge ridge all the way worming way down here up that bit through the woods was that was real Mate, I've lost, I've lost some weight on this trip, I tell you. I can't have been having over, a, I, well, I don't think I've had over a thousand calories on one day. I don't think. Maybe 1,500. And I must have been burning five or 6,000 a day. I must be, because it's non-stop. I mean, look at that, all the way along here, that is a sheer drop. One foot in the wrong place and you're off the edge like this look i don't know that'll be somewhat look at that that's a sheer drop off there look ed sheeran <laughs> ed sheeran I'm not scared of heights anymore have it is there a better path than this i mean yeah there's all this <laughs> This whole trail has been just paths of delightfulness, hasn't it? I will say though, if you're coming on this trip and you really are, uh, if you really do suffer from vertigo, just be mindful of it, because it's gonna, you're gonna get tweaked out a little bit in places, but if you do suffer from vertigo, maybe this is the place to cure it. If you even wanna cure it, you might not. You might be just happy sat, sat watching, uh, Whatever you're watching, Great British Menu, whatever it is, uh, you don't need to come out here and you're like, mate, I'm happy just watching you in bed, doing it on YouTube. I don't need to come to, look at that, what to these sheer drops. <laughs> to learn that I'm scared of heights. I'll just watch you crying on top of an hill whilst I'm eating some flaming hot Doritos or whatever it is you're getting into. Whoa, look at that though. I mean, I can appreciate the fact that, you know, one false step and I'm dead. I appreciate it and I respect it. But there's nothing in me saying, get yourself off there. And I guess that's it, isn't it? You're scared. It's that voice is the fear, not the fear of the height itself. It's the fear of jumping off or your brain doing something mad. Absolute scenics, river scenics. We're following it around here and I can see a little path worming through these trees. <laughs> There's a building in the middle of that valley. That'll be the last hut as we descend down. Ed Sheeran, not bothered. Very important. That way towards the Via Ferrata, this way is the way towards where we're going. If you went that way, you'd be done in. An easy mistake to make. And I know a few people have made that mistake. But then you get to it and you're like, well, it's a proper via frat for about 6K. And you need, you need like, you need all carabiners and helmet and everything. All your via frat kit, which I don't have. <laughs> so we're this way. Bite 
finishing strong. There we go. Filled up my water bottle at that refugio. It's done in place. That's the last one. The last one. And so it's a gradual, a gradual, a gradual 6k trek through these woodlands with mountain views. <laughs> and no, no, no more arduous leg pumpers up or down. Wild times. Have some time to reflect and just to process and think. And this is the perfect end to do it, mate. Just strolling through. A very familiar scene to me, just like a woodland, pine woodland, decent track. It's a real shame this river isn't flowing, because I would have loved to swim. What's this little outcrop? Hey, that's... look at that! <gasps> Whoa, is that a pool? That's a pool! I can't get down, there's no way. There's no way I can get down there. That's a pool look. Oh, it's so steep though. Steep Irwin. Oh, but it's a lovely little plunge pool. No way down, Mosh. Can you, no, I bet people jump off it, don't they? Stupid. It's perfect while swimming, but it's far too steep and I've just done a little slip, so nah. Shame. That's a real shame. I would have loved to have ended it on a wild swim. Look at that. How has someone got up there? Someone's bouldered up there. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a a little Mother Mary and some some little dry flowers and a candle, a little shrine. The guidebook was quite apologetic about this bit, in a way I felt, the way that it was worded. They were like, oh, it, you will be walking through a woodland, but don't worry, you can still see mountains from the, from the views, and yes, you can, but the woodland itself is stunning. It's stunning. It's absolutely lovely and uh, it's a, the perfect end to a hike like that because I've been so high up, done so much, it's nice just to be coming down a nice wide path through a lovely calming woodland. <laughs> yeah, still stunning. Back there, there was just a, the, on the pathway, there's just buddleias either side. Loads of different butterflies, just loads of different species of butterfly. All just flying around me as, as the sun's shining. What a glorious end. Uh, and then I've come off the path. This is quite a, a gnarly little descent, this actually. Very rooty and very steep. But I think we're nearly there, we must be. What's this? Oh my God, look at that. With the clear water at the bottom, how do I get down there? Can you get down there? Five days ago, I headed up into the mountains. Five days later, <laughs> I'm back down, heading towards the bus stop to go back to the nearest town. What a journey in every possible way. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with map time and some final thoughts. Right, map time. Up here, what did I do? I zigzagged down here, camped around here, didn't I? Came back down, joined the path through these woods. I did find another place up here that you could have camped. So, but it was on the path and this was just the best campsite ever. On we went, traversing along here, and then we start to ascend up. <laughs> the drops off here were pretty nuts. And then once you get up here, there's a bit of Via Ferrata along here that you can hold on to. Very traversy day. Up and down, over big boulder fields. 
as we go along here. And this was the first refugio that I hit. And this was where I met Andy. And then uh, we hiked together for a while. So I stopped filming because it's a bit hard to film when you're hiking with someone else. And we took all this on together. It's a really nice section actually along here. I'm starting to forget. I put some miles in. And around here there was a nice little hut with a lot of people in it. Um, some of which were at the refugio on the evening. I got to chat to really interesting people. This is the escape route, they call it. If you don't want to take on the Knife Edge Ridge, you can go this way and off the trail. It's really difficult to get back on it, so this would be the end of your trail. I carried on to the Refugio, had a wonderful evening there, then was up at the crack of dawn and on my way. So this is the Knife Edge Ridge <clears throat> up to the top of here. It's not very long, but it is <laughs> so steep down here, along the knife edge ridge, through this pass, and down, very slippy down here, but it opens up to some fantastic views, this was where I think I cured my vertigo, which is in pretty bonkers, I'm still, I've not been up any high heights since, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, uh, met up with Andy again here, went down to this refugio, uh, got a uh, sani and a bit of a drink and then set off again through these woods and left Andy down here. It was really steep out of these woods. Through this pass, again, more beautiful traversing. And then as you head your way down here, this is very important if anyone is doing this to go this way because this way leads to the Via Ferrata, which is about 6k of via for out and you do need all the equipment and so along here we go i think andy did go this way and then got around, got so far down and realized what he'd done and come back uh, i headed off down here to this refugio for a final water refill and on and it was a lovely way to end this hike and um, the guidebook does say that it's it downplays it a little bit i really enjoyed it just meandering through these woods decompressing and just taking everything in and uh, just the lessons i've learned and what an amazing adventure so through here there are some off-roady bits and some shortcuts that you can do through these woods but it is just a really relaxing and lovely hike all the way down to the road and then there's a little bit of a walk up and then you get to your bus stop and that is the end and there it is the alta via one and what a journey that was. It was an impromptu adventure, so it wasn't executed perfectly, but the sights I saw and the lessons I learned, to me, were priceless. I forgot some stuff and didn't plan things as meticulously as I could have, but that's how it was meant to be, and it was very much worth it. By trying to escape my problems and seeking comfort in the hardship of the mountains, I actually found the opposite. I found that sitting with my troubles and taking them on face to face is far more healthy and rewarding than trying to silence them with distractions. To anyone struggling with their own noggin wobbles, I send you nout but love and strength. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.